Hello, I am Zachary Michael, and my greatest fears are scarecrows and dolls because of their overall design. My fear started to grow when I was 14. I thought I saw the scarecrows move on their posts before I went to bed. It most likely was just the wind moving them, but I was a child and my imagination was filled with terrors. My brother, called it Joss Johnson, loves to scare the crap out of me and makes fun of me. That's what brothers do, right? However, I will never forget about what happened in October of 2007, and here's the experience. My mother and my father were going to Florida for two weeks and they decided to drop us to our grandparents' house to be babysat. And of course, they had a collection of scarecrows in their cornfield. And when I looked back to my brother, he had that prankters, pr prankster smile, so I just backed away from him and talked to my grandmother about the scarecrows. Grandma, why do you have so many scarecrows? Well, it's to scare the crows away, son. Don't worry, they won't harm you. After she said that, Grandpa looked at her in anger and she looked at him sadly. Grandpa motioned her to her room and she walked to it without a word. I tried to talk to Grandpa, but he ignored me and shut the door to the room. My brother grabbed me by the shoulder and it made me jump. What the heck is your problem? <laughs> Got you, scaredy cat, lol. You suck! I wish you never existed! Now leave me alone! I went to bed and shut the door in pure anger and shut the blinds to hide these darn scarecrows from my view. Right when I was falling asleep, the wind was pulling the blinds and I was able to see the scarecrows. I thought I saw one of the scarecrows turn its head towards my window and I stood there lying on my bed terrified, but eventually I fell asleep. The next morning I woke up and watched TV with my grandfather. He still seemed angry and I asked him why he was so angry. Son, don't go near these scarecrows. Why not? Because son, they are... But he wasn't able to finish his words as grandma knocked on a kitchen table. Everything was silent afterward until grandma said, Don't listen to your grandpa, son. The scarecrows are safe. My brother was laughing this whole time and he said, You guys are hilarious. You're in on this, aren't you? My grandparents looked at him confused and I looked at them disappointed. You were in one of his pranks! Ah, oh, all of you suck! I ran outside where the cornfield was to calm myself down. In the distance, I saw an empty scarecrow pole, and I realized that it was the same scarecrow that watched me last night. I thought that it was my immature brother trying to scare me again, but this time I wanted the advantage by scaring him first. So I voyaged into the cornfield in search of another scarecrow. Halfway through the cornfield, I heard some footsteps next to me. I looked and I found some footprints following my path and disappearing behind the cornfield. I was close by another scarecrow, but I instead decided to follow the footprints. I ended up in a vast forest in front of a stream that seemed deeper than it should have been. I approached the stream and looked at the rushing water and I saw an old broken bridge. I started to walk on it, but from the murky, deep waters, the face of a scarecrow rose up. Its arms grabbed my legs and he pulled me into the water. I held my breath and called for help when I was able to breathe over the water. My brother heard my screams and he rushed in to pull me out of the waters. You, you saved me. Of course, bro. Without you, my life would never be the same. Do you really mean that? Yes, I do. Now tell me what happened. My brother seemed serious as he told me this, and I believed him 100%. Well, you might think that it's ridiculous, but a scarecrow tried to drown me. He looked at me worried. I didn't know that you were that terrified about scarecrows, that you would imagine then attack you, but we should go back home. He remained silent during our walk back home, and night fell. My grandfather asked me to talk in his room privately, and so I did. That was the conversation. Son, we have been hiding this fact for too long, and today is the day that I will tell you what's going on. Is it about the scarecrows? I'm afraid so. The previous owner of our barn had their crops stolen by unknown robbers at some point. They became tired of it, and they started a ritual. The ritual's information. To get rid of robbers and crows, read these six steps and you will be freed. Create six costumed scarecrows that will scare whoever sees them. Nail them on a wooden post and kill crows. Then place them underneath the scarecrows. Fill them up with hay and ashes from anybody. Give them corn daily to make them happy. 
they ended up forgetting to give the scarecrows corn, so they became violent towards their previous owners, and they were never seen again. So this barn is cursed? Yes, I'm sorry. I was unable to sleep all night, so I stayed up late, and I heard some rustling outside. I stayed inside trying to wake up my grandparents, but they never woke up. And when I came back to the living room, the front door was opened. In the kitchen, I saw this scarecrow with these human eyes, with its veins showing up. It seems to have been a human once, as I also saw bones inside it. That's when I started screaming, and it ran towards me, but it could barely run. And I opened my grandparents' room, and they weren't there. In shock, I found out that the window in their room was broken. My brother, and he woke up and came downstairs, and he was in fear at the scarecrow running after us. The other scarecrows were surrounding us as we were in the forest. They all walked in synchronization towards us, and we started praying for our lives. They all stopped in their tracks and fell apart. We stood there in awe, and we thanked God for saving our lives. And we got back to the barn, and our parents arrived. We ended up calling the cops, and they arrived in two minutes. And they found our grandparents. They were burned. Only a few bones remained of them. My brother promised that he would never prank me with scarecrows afterward, and he hasn't. As for the barn, it was closed down and demolished. Mm -hmm.